Good rainy afternoon, guys. Welcome to today's episode of Big South Outdoors TV. Today, it is a rainy, cloudy, overcast kind of day, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I actually got rained out on my day's work, so I decided to come back to the shop and get some little projects that I've been trying to get to, get them done, get, the, get to them, and actually get them done. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace and repair and reconnect the brake, the, the uh, trailer brake breakaway cable. Um, mine broke here a while back and uh, I tried to weld it, but it is actually coated with a um, polyurethane coating, so there's no welding it. Um, so I found, I actually, decided to go a different route and that's what I'm going to show you today so stay tuned but before we get into it be sure and hit the like button hit that subscribe button guys subscribing is free I'm trying to build my channel please subscribe to the channel and when you do hit the notif hit the uh, notification bell so you don't miss any content also we can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Big South Outdoors TV. So check us out. All right, guys, you're not going to be seeing my face much on this video, but uh, what I did want to show you was this is the cable. Uh, I don't know how it broke, and I don't really care, but law, the, the highway laws say that if you have brakes on your trailer, you have to have this switch hooked up because it runs this box right here, which is the brake controller. And if you don't have this hooked up, uh, it, it can you can get a ticket. But what what I'm going to do? I got a piece of uh, pine straw binding here right now, and and actually that would work, but it just it kind of looks redneckish, and I don't really like it. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to untie this. Now this thing is already in a loop, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And uh, there's there's a few videos on the internet, on, on YouTube, of how to do this, but they're kind of expensive. And I decided to see what I could come up with to do it the cheapest way. So I'm going to pause the video a second. I'm going to get everything I need down here where the camera can see it, and then we'll go from there. Now, what you're gonna need to do this job is you're gonna need two clips, also known as carabiners. Um, I bought these at my local hardware store. They were like three bucks a piece. And uh, they also had the other element of this repair that I needed. And I actually looked out on that because I thought I was going to have to go somewhere else. And, uh, but I didn't. Thank you, Lord. But anyway, you get two of these. Now, the look part I, I talked about, this is where it comes into, into play. That right there. That you, you just hook this, this carabiner. And these carabiners are weighted, uh, are rated at 300 pounds a piece. So you just clip it on like that and I'll show you what else you're gonna need. This right here, I'm sure if, if you can look at it and tell, I'll put it right up there close to the camera. That is nothing more than swing set chain. That's all that is. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out so you can see it. Probably gonna have to rip the bag, yeah. And it comes in, in various lengths like this. And you just, I may have to separate these hooks to get it off. But I'm pretty sure that right there is going to be all I'm going to need. But um, I'm almost positive. Let me see if I can get a screwdriver and just spread that out a little bit. And that's all we're going to have to have. I don't know which one 
Now these will do work better, but I'm gonna try both of them. And there's one of them works very well right off the get go, right off the bat. Now I chose chain rather than cable or one of them curly Q things like you see on a, on a semi because this trailer already has chain on it. And this chain right here, this trailer, both mowers and all the equipment weigh about, I think this it's a little, a little more than 4,500 pounds. And this chain, believe it or not, this chain is weighted, rated at 2,000 pounds. So it's still strong enough to pull this out if, if, it, if the trailer comes loose from the truck, God forbid. It's still strong enough and, and it'll rip right off with, and watch what this, what this switch does. Let me see if I can, oh Lord, broke the bolt off. What this thing is, this cable is connected to, I can pull it out easily, is connected to this piece. This piece here uh, slides in here and it, it um, completes a circuit in here. Anytime this cable is pulled out, this circuit breaks and this box right here locks the trailer brakes up so the trailer don't go willy-nilly all over the road. And that's why they call it a, a breakaway switch. But anyway, I'm gonna see if I can take my screwdriver here and drive it down in there and spread that enough to uh, get that chain off. Bleed out a do it. How about I just get there? We go. And boom, there we go. Now, we take this carabiner, put the chain on it like that. And we take this carabiner, put the chain on it like that, and then we run it, route it through there like that to see how long, if 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 any, how too much too long the chain is going to be. And it looks like it's going to be quite a bit long. So what you have to do is you take the carabiner. See, there's two links together. So I'm going to go four links up. And I'm going to connect it here. Now, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to run it underneath the pigtail. easier to adjust it from here. I think two more is going to be too short. Let me see. Let me see. Actually, that's perfect. Actually, it might be still a little too long. Because when this trailer straightens out, that chain is going to lengthen and it's going to get longer. Of course, lengthening and longer is the same thing. So I'm going to go one, I'm going to go two more up. And I believe that just might do it. I believe that's perfect right there. So you got, you got that much clearance on the road, but yet you still got enough clearance there to dangle. If this, all this here is out of the way. And this trailer is jackknifed, so that's perfect. Now, you see all this excess you don't need? I'll show you what to do with that. At least what I'm gonna do with it anyway. Take this off and you just lay it on the ground like that. That's the link you need to save. You need to cut this link this link rather. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna get my trusty grinder out. I'm gonna plug her in. And I'm gonna take this chain. Sorry about moving the camera, but I can't get to it to stop the recording to edit it, so I'm just gonna do it like this. You just take this grinding, uh, it's actually a, it's a grinding with sharpening wheel, but I'm gonna use it. Take your carabiner off because you don't want to mess it up. But here we go. Now, just set your grinder out of the way. That thing is cut wide enough, it'll slide right out. You set that to the side. Put your carabiner on there. Hook it to your loop, and there you go. Now your brake switch is hooked, connected back up, and you've got rid of this redneck twine here. That's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, I just barely got cleaned up, and the rain started falling, and I got under the shelter because I didn't feel like getting wet again. But anyway, um, the setup I come up with, I've seen many different videos uh, on YouTube maybe five or six that um, that did pretty much the same thing. The difference is they were they, they were twenty dollars and above. Uh, what I did with the two carabiners and the little small piece of chain, even the whole packet uh, uh, the whole package of chain plus the two carabiners form of thirteen dollars. Uh, that's seven dollars cheaper than anything else I had seen. And I'm not trying to beat anybody else. I'm just trying to save money. That's, that's it and maybe something that I do can help you out but anyway uh, I'm thinking about check uh, calling Leonard and letting them see what I did maybe they can change the uh, the design on that leave me a comment below and tell me what you think but anyway uh, this is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV be sure and hit the like button if you like being locked in the content of these videos Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Guys, subscribing is free. Come on. Join the family. Uh, and when you do that, make sure and click that notification bell so you don't miss any content. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV saying, Live big, live southern, and no matter how wet and rainy it is outside, live outdoors. Have a good day, folks.